Hey, hello world. My name is Prithviraj and welcome to my YouTube channel Bionic B. On this channel, I'll be presenting my ideas for all the guys who really enjoy learning data science and AI. My goal is to inspire you guys to get creative in the field of AI and have fun trying new ideas and reading research papers. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down there so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching. Hey, hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about the understanding about receptive field. So receptive field plays a very important role while building a computer vision network. If we know what are receptive fields, we can actually calculate how many minimum layers we need to build a good network. So receptive field does gives us information about how much area specific pixel in a layer can see from the previous image. So just imagine if I'm going to show half of a picture, maybe a little part of a picture, it might be very difficult for you to understand what that picture means. So for example, let's say if I'm going to show you this picture and I'm going to tell you to identify what image is this, what animal it can be. So it's very difficult. Now, if I just reduce it a little bit, maybe I can say it's a dog, right? Now I'm guessing it can be a wolf or it can be something else but when i see the complete picture then i understand that okay it's a cat right so receptive field gives us this kind of information in first layer the receptive field is going to be uh, very less so in the initial layer if we are going to ask the model what is the object or what is the image is all about like let's say we are doing a classification problem in the first layer itself when we ask the model uh, that you know what is the class then it's going to be difficult for the model to tell it because in the first layer each pixel each convolution will be able to see only a three cross three area given we are using a three cross three kernel so we know that most of the time we are going to use three cross three kernel but if you don't know why we are using three cross three most of the time please check out the initial videos it should be there in the playlist and the receptive field of a neuron in a convolution neural network is uh, the region of the input image that a neuron is able to see or receive information from. The size and shape of the receptive field can have a significant impact on the ability of a CNN to recognize patterns inside the data inside the input data. In a CNN, the receptive field is a function of size and stride of a filters used, right? So there is certain calculation of what we can do to calculate the receptive fields. And those calculations are basically a function of the filters which is like the size of kernel we are using. In our case, it's going to be three cross three most of the time. Then the stride we are using, we are going to understand what is stride. Then the padding, what we are using in an image, right? Also the receptive field is actually dependent on the pulling layers. If you are using, like if you are using max pulling, which is basically a function of uh, the size of kernel and the stride. We look into this animation. The first image over here is a five cross five image, the black box, which is you know, convoluting over the image is actually a three cross three kernel. So if you look at this layer, if we are considering input layer as a layer one, then this is going to be the second layer. In the second layer, this specific pixel is having idea about this three cross three area, which is like nine pixels. Now, if we go to the next convolution block, let's say this is the one, this specific pixel is having idea about this three cross three pixel, which is like you know, nine pixels. So what it means that every pixel here will be able to understand nine pixels, right? What is there inside a three cross three? When we done with the second layer, we go to the third layer and we convolute the three cross three kernel on top of the three cross three output image from the five cross five. We are going to get to one pixel, which in this case is uh, the third layer. And this pixel will be able to understand this three cross three area. Now, if we ask this pixel, this pixel is actually having information about this three cross three. And this three cross three is having information about this five cross five completely. If we ask the receptive field of each pixel in layer number two, then it is going to be three because each pixel in layer two can see uh, three cross three image. If we go to the third layer 
and if you ask the receptive field of each pixel which is in our case it is only having one pixel it is going to be five because this one pixel can look at this three cross three area and this three cross three area is having information about this completely five cross five each pixel is having three cross three in that way we are covering the complete five cross five area in the layer number two and layer number three is covering the complete layer number one so basically it is covering the complete five cross five in in the last layer so that's the concept of receptive field so guys once we keep on increasing the receptive field our model is going to look into the complete object at some layer the question what we need to think about is what should be the, the receptive field at the last layer so the answer is the last layer's receptive field should be equal to the size of image or it should be bigger than that you can just go through this description and try to understand about receptive field more thanks so much for watching